Hi, YouTube people. So I have a little story about um, my experience with a vending machine at school. Um, so the other day, well, I'm broke right now, uh, art student, it's kind of expected. Um, so I found some change in my pocket and I was like, fuck yeah, I can buy some food. So uh, before class, I went to the vending machine because that's all I could really afford. Um, and I, I put the money in and I was like, okay, hmm, I'm on a diet, so let's try and go with something a little more healthier. I was like, smart choice. That sounds like a pretty smart choice, right? Popcorn, sounds good, no deep fried shit. So uh, I put the money in, I look up, and it's at the very top, and then it starts to fall down, does like a twist through the air, and then lands flat on the thing, gets stuck. And I was like, fuck, what am I gonna do? And uh, I went in my pocket and I still had like, like 350 or whatever. And I was like, okay, I'll get another bag of chips. It'll fall down, hit that one, and then knock that one down, right? And so uh, people are starting to gather around, just like passersby or whatever, like, oh man, do it, it's gonna totally fall, oh yeah. So I put the money in, and uh, I don't even remember what the second bag of chips was. Falls down, <laughs> on top of that one. So I have two bags of chips stuck now. And I'm just like, oh, like screaming, like shaking the thing, like trying to get it out, and it's not coming out. So then I decide that maybe if I got something heavier, uh, it might knock it down. So I see this chocolate bar up at the top, like it has like lights glowing from it, like ah, like an angel type thing. And so I put my last little bit of money in, I have the like almost the exact change left for it. I had 25 cents left. And uh, I bought that and I watched that fall down. <laughs> Wouldn't you know it, stuck on the top of those two bags of chips. So now I have smart food, another bag of chips, and then a fucking chocolate bar stuck on the top. And I'm like freaking out and there's like a bunch of people around. I'm like, what the fuck did I do to you, karma? And so, uh, so they were like, man, like go down to the security desk, you know, I'll watch all your chips and stuff like that. And so I, I ran down to the security desk, like flights of stairs, because like the elevator is so slow. And I was like, hi, um, I have three things stuck in the vending machine. Uh, could you guys come help me? And they were like, uh, we don't have keys for the vending machine. Uh, yeah. And I was like, well, can you come help me shake it? And they were like, well, no, we can't exactly tell you that you're allowed to shake it. Um, we can't come help you shake it. So I looked at them and I was like, oh, don't worry guys, I won't shake it. And then I did like an elbow thing to them. And then we went back up and there's three of us. And uh, we were shaking it. And uh, like all like, it's making so much noise. I'm surprised the security guard didn't come up and was like, get the fuck out now. But, uh, <laughs> and then this guy, decided that it would be like it would work if we took the vending machine and put it on like a 45 degree angle and it was in the corner right and lean it up against the wall and then bang it off the side of the wall <laughs> so we have like three of us on one side like fucking banging it against the side of the wall and uh wouldn't you know it the bar falls off and we're like yes oh my god the bar fucking fell off so exciting and uh you know what the chips didn't come off so I split the bar with them, made two friends, my new study buddies or whatever, or drinking buddies, and, uh, and the chips are still there. <laughs> and so yeah, apparently vending machines fucking hate me.